How's it going guys? Med Hat Vapor here again. Uh, back doing a couple more juice reviews. Once again, Cloud Chemist. Uh, I saw him today. Hooked me up with a full line of his well, whole entire flavor profile, including one mystery flavor that I will reveal to you guys in uh, a feature juice review. Probably, maybe later today, maybe tomorrow. Not sure. Haven't decided yet. But <clears throat> today's flavors that we're doing are Tropical Mango Smoothie. As you can see, I just picked up sample bottles from them. Uh, so some Silly Rabbit as well, we'll be doing. So we'll be doing the Silly Rabbit on the Coupar with the Mutation V4 Addy. And inside there, as was yesterday, it's those uh, Clapton's with the Nichromady on the outside. Crazy vape, crazy vape production. And on this one here, rocking the Clapton style fragging coils. Insane, insane. Now I'm vaping around, once again, right around 100, 110, 120 watts on the light styled Cirrus X. It's pretty hard to gauge where you're at on that, to be honest with you. It's I could be saying 120, I could be hitting 150, I don't know. Um, as well, on the Coupar, I am hitting at 65 watts. So, it'll be a nice vape on this one here. I'm doing the Tropical Mango Smoothie with the Bullet RDA. And I'm going to start it off at uh, running it about three quarters open, and then I'm going to run it down to about a quarter open. So, that's what I'll be doing here. Uh, I had a chance to sample both of them out. Uh, the Tropical Mango Smoothie I did earlier on the Mutation V4. That mango really, really pops if you have a flavor RDA, like uh, Mutation V4 or a Derringer or anything like that. Hellboy even will, will give you an amazing, amazing vape. Uh, so velocity as well. But when it comes to using the bullet, you got to really... Or even something with a lot of airflow, Twisted Messes... Uh, geez, it's so many, so many to list off. So, if you get a lot of airflow, your cloud production is going to be crazy. So, as you've seen there, I was just a short little hole and got pretty insane cloud there. So, uh, now, get to the flavor on it. <clears throat> He's going for tropical mango smoothie. Um... I don't really get the smoothie part in there, but I do get the mango, and it's a it's a lovely vape. It's an absolutely lovely vape. Uh, I'm not sure if it's quite as good as his Twinkies, to be honest with you, but uh, I mean, he nailed that Twinkie one dead on. So I can't. I have like literally no complaints, and I really wasn't expecting to like it at all. So uh, I want to run it about half now. So, running about half, I got crazy mango flavor. Wow. Uh, the cloud is still still super thick. As I said, this is probably around between his 91 and 99 VG mark here. So, that was about a quarter open. And that's, that's where I'd be if I'm vaping this, because right there, on the inhale, Magna Bees. No, ah, it's it's, it's hard to, it's hard to say what that ex, that is on the inside extra there. It's possibly some sort of a cream. I don't know. I don't know what he's put in that one, but it is definitely a a nice smooth vape, very rich, very thick. So that is definitely. A very good one to start. Uh, if you're if you're looking to get into mango, uh, that'd be a great one. So I know I'm stocked up with that one. I got a nice big bottle of mango there. So let's uh, jump over to the silly rabbit. This is his take on tricks, I do believe. Uh, 
I did a little vape here just just before I started the video of this. I'm I don't know. I'd have to, I'm gonna have to take a couple more vapes here. I can't really even give an opinion on it. I, my palate was probably used to the other RDA I was using there with the different flavor. So start running it wide open here. Definitely, it's got some flavor. Uh, more wide open. I'm just getting the cloud, like I said. I'm gonna I'm gonna lessen it down to about a quarter or a third of the way open here, and get some more flavor here. Yeah, he's got the got the flavor in there for sure. The tricks. It's, it's mild. It's not like a power eating your kisser kind of kind of flavor there, but <coughs> I mean, it's definitely there. Every guy's weakness there. But yeah, I mean, looking for a nice comfortable vape, you know, a nice evening vape. This Silly Rabbit would definitely be a nice, it's not an overpowering tone, like I said, it just kind of sits there on your palate just nicely. It doesn't have a bad lingering aftertaste, and that's what I find about a lot of these. And when I say a lot of these, I don't mean his juice. His juice is actually really good. It does not leave a bad aftertaste. Now, I haven't quite got through his whole line. Um, so tomorrow, I'm hoping to do three different juices. I'm hoping to do a review on the mystery juice that has not yet been released so stay tuned for that he has not released it he hasn't even got betas out for it yet he, um just something he kind of threw at me today and i'll tell you he nailed it just just the way he he nailed it on his first batch man like uh he, he was saying he was gonna play around with it some more and i just i was like no just it's perfect so we're gonna do that tomorrow in a feature uh, and probably gonna do great pop for Brad Tajiri because uh, he was he's loving that right now. He said so. We'll we'll do great pop tomorrow, and let's say we'll do Lucky Charms as well tomorrow. So we'll do those two. And uh, like I said, guys, have a great night. Enjoy the vape. Shout out to Cloud Chemist once again. Thanks for all the juices, guys. Here's a vape for you guys.